there are a number of types of claims that can be made against investment advisors. The most common are claims involving churning, unauthorized investments, or investments which are unsuitable uh, for the investor. Churning involves excessive trading, the purpose of which is to generate commissions for the broker rather than profits for the investor. This is usually characterized by frequent transactions uh, with no real purpose other than to generate large commissions. Unauthorized investments involve investments where the investment professional has not gotten consent of the customer to, to execute the transaction before the investment advisor does so. An investment professional is not permitted to execute a transaction on behalf of the customer unless the professional has either uh, a power of attorney in writing from the customer or the customer's consent to that particular transaction. The most common claim against an investment professional is what's referred to as unsuitable trading. Suitability requires that an investment professional recommend investments which are suitable to the customer. They have to be suitable in two ways. One, they have to be suitable to the customer's investment desires, what the customer wants to do, what type of investment the customer says he or she wants. They also have to be suitable, however, for the customer's objective investment needs. That is, what the investment professional, based upon his or her professional judgment, believes is an appropriate investment for that customer. An investment professional is not, is not simply an order taker. An investment professional is not permitted simply to execute a transaction just because the customer says he or she wants to. There is an element of professionalism that requires that the investment professional know his or her customer and execute transactions which are appropriate to that customer. In order to do so, the professional has to do what is referred to as due diligence. That is, to find out as much as the person legitimately and reasonably can about the, about the client and to find out as much as the investment professional legitimately can about the investment itself so that he or she can match that investment appropriately up to the customer. 